You're listening to The Manning Report with your host, James David Manning. The news behind the headlines. What I want to do today is to, uh, to launch a movement to get Hillary Clinton seated as the legal president, winner of the Electoral College, and winner of the 2016 election. And I want to start the movement. I just want to use basic facts. I want to use the words of Robert Mueller and his basic facts that demonstrates that Trump is an illegal presidency. He was put in with the aid of a foreign power. That is what Robert Mueller demonstrates unequivocally in his report, segment number one. But Mr. Engineer continued to flip. We want to seat Hillary as president. Continue to run. Campaign chairman Paul Manafort regularly shared polling data with a Russian intelligence agent and received a peace plan for Ukraine that Manafort acknowledged to the special counsel's office was a back doorway for Russia to control part of eastern Ukraine. Then there are the ties between the Trump campaign and WikiLeaks. WikiLeaks! I love WikiLeaks! The report details advanced knowledge of WikiLeaks releases by members of the campaign, including the president, who is described as taking a now, phone call. Now notice that this is not just the commentator from MSNBC. The commentator is taking excerpts saying that the report says, the report says, the Mueller report says, the Mueller report says that Paul Manafort gave polling data to, to Kalemnik. The report says that Trump had advanced information about WikiLeaks. He's saying the report documents that under oath and through federal inquisition that they were able to determine and legally write in a report to the American people that, that Trump coordinated with WikiLeaks and that they gave polling data to Russian officials. The report says that Russia made a successful attempt to influence the 2016 election. The report says, he's not saying this of his own intuition, he's saying the, the Mueller report is written legally as a document saying we, that that's what happened. That being the case, and we're gonna listen to some more of it, but that being the case, we're gonna start a movement to get Hillary in as legal president. Right now, under God, we do not have a legal president. Under God, we are not blessed as a nation. We've got a president put in power by a foreign entity of a communist sort in Vladimir Putin. Mr. Engineer, continue to roll. But the movement needs to start today to put, to inaugurate Hillary, uh, unseat Donald Trump Tribulation Trump and install and inaugurate Hillary Rodham Clinton. Mr. Engineer, continue. And then telling Deputy Campaign Chair Rick Gates that more releases of damaging information would be coming. There was the June 2016 Trump Tower meeting when Donald Trump Jr., Jared Kushner, and Paul Manafort met with Russians to get dirt on Hillary Clinton. And remember this. To be clear, Mr. Trump has no financial relationships with any Russian oligarchs. That, that's what he said. I, I, that's what I said. That's obviously what the, the, our position is. In fact, there were many contacts arranged at the highest levels, including a meeting in the Seychelles Islands between the head of Russia's sovereign wealth fund and Trump ally Eric Prince. On obstruction, Mueller lays out 10 possible episodes, including the firing of FBI Director James Comey the president's attempt to get Attorney General Jeff Sessions to unrecuse himself. He took the job and then he said, I'm going to recuse myself. I said, what kind of a man is this? And telling White House counsel Don McGahn to fire Mueller. McGahn refused, telling then Chief of Staff Reince Priebus that the president had asked him to do crazy ass. All right, McGahn okay. threatened. All right, so right there. Now, I, I, again, you can now see the report Don McGahn, who is the White House counsel, refused a direct order from the president, which is unthinkable, but the order was to fire Robert Mueller. And all of the contacts that, and there were 141 of them uh, between Trump's campaign officials and Trump himself with Vladimir Putin, uh, Trump with Lavrov and Kislyak in the Oval Office. I mean, let me say something to you especially all the j people that I used to run with, who put up a picture and carried it everywhere they went. In fact, they carried it in their, in their wallets 
of Obama in a Muslim garb. Obama with a white Muslim gown on and a white Muslim kufi on his head and showing Obama in Muslim garb and that Obama had Muslim ties. You people that I used to run with for years demonstrated unequivocally that that made Obama a Muslim, that he's associated with Muslim garb and dressed in Muslim garb. You, you people nailed him to the cross for that, and that, that, but that was the only thing that you had on him. Trump has sat down with Vladimir Putin, with Kislyak, and with a bunch of others. Trump has sat down with them, and yet you people, you white people, are still supporting him when you excoriated Obama. It's not right. It is, isn't right. It's, it's, it's hypocritical. It is racist. It is hate-filled. Well, you went after Obama just for having on a Muslim garb, but you refused, you refused to acknowledge Trump's association with Kislyak, with, 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 with Lavrov, with Putin. You people are hypocritical. I swear before God, it is almost impossible to believe that you could be that weak, that hate field, that racist, the way you went after Obama, and now Trump has done a million things more than Obama ever dreamed of, and yet you praise him as God sent. It, you know, you people really need to check yourself, and I can tell you something. Your children are looking at you because they they, they're watching your racism, you white people. They're watching your racism. They're watching your hypocrisy. And they're listening to me. Because remember, you introduced me to them. They're listening to me. And I want to ask your children to help start a movement to seat and inaugurate Hillary Clinton and unseat Tribulation Trump. Mr. Engineer, continue. To resign. In fact, the day Mueller was appointed, May 17th, 2017, President Trump, quote, slumped back in his chair and said, oh, my God, this is terrible. This is the end of my presidency. I'm effed. Adding later, this is the worst thing that ever happened to me. Though the attorney general claims the White House fully cooperated with the special counsel's investigation. In fact, the report details how individuals lied or deleted communications, and the president refused to sit for an interview with the special counsel. President Trump responded to written questions with some version of, I do not recall, or I do not remember, 37 times. Uh, Mr. Engine, this is very interesting, this is 37 times where Trump in his written submission to Robert Mueller regarding questions, 37 times he said, I don't remember, I don't recall, I don't remember, I don't recall. But Mr. Engineer, continue to roll in that segment. Democrats are pressing for impeachment proceedings. We have a constitution of the United States, and it says when a president <laughs> engages in this kind of activity, then it's time for impeachment. But House Democratic leaders, led by Speaker Nancy Pelosi, are putting the brakes on, now, saying Mr. one Engineer, step at a time. Mr. Engineer, uh, let me also state, I would want to launch today a movement to unseat the illegal president, uh, Tribulation Trump, and to inaugurate and seat Hillary Rodham Clinton, the true winner of the Electoral College vote of 2016, the true winner of the popular vote of the, uh, electoral, of the uh, election of 2016, the true winner, the true presidency, the true president that should be seated in that office. I want to ask all members of the Democrat Party that are presently uh, seeking to be the nominee that you cannot, in good conscience, run for president, uh, whether you be Bernie Sanders, an independent, or, or Joe, Biden, Joe Biden, or Cory Booker, or Kamala Harris, or Elizabeth Warren, or any of you, you cannot, you cannot honestly seek that office knowing that Hillary Clinton should be seated on the, on the, in the Oval Office now. Now, I want all of you Democrats to listen to me very carefully. You cannot legally, before God, spiritually, seek an office against a man who shouldn't be there in the first place. Hillary Clinton should be there. And every woman 
of any understanding about the women's movement ought to help me get this movement launched to move to unseat that illegal tri tribulation Trump, to unseat him and to seat Hillary Clinton. This is a bit of a news blog we do looking at spiritual wickedness in high places for the most part, making uh, some observations about it and giving people a biblical foundation to the way of interpreting rather than have uh, uh, Sean Hannity or Laura Ingram or Janine Pirro or Anderson Cooper or Rachel Maydow or Don Lemon, uh, Rush Limbaugh interpret what's going on in the world. You come to me and I'll tell you based on what the word of God says. They'll just give you their worldly sinful view. But the man will tell you what God has said whether to say yea or nay, whether to go or to stay. You'll be led by the word of Almighty God. Come to the Manning Report on a daily basis to interpret the spiritual wickedness in high places because there's plenty of it that's going on. And so I'm he, I'm the Lord, sir, James David Righteous Rebel Manning. And I'm here to serve you with news and information.